Okay, in this video, we are going to make a script in DroneKit and Python on our Raspberry Pi, and it's going to make our drone fly into the air and then simply land. So it's a very basic script, but it'll be a good example of showing you the powers of DroneKit and Python scripting. Now, you can follow along with the typing, or you can just click on the link that I'll provide that'll just let you have the text of the file I'm about to write. If you are gonna follow along and type and you're not familiar with Python, I would definitely suggest that you go ahead and go on YouTube or something and find a, a basic introductory video to the Python programming language. Because there is some weird syntax things with Python you'll have to be aware of. But all right, let's get to it. Let's SSH into our drone, and then let's make a directory called DK. We'll type the command here. And then we will CD into the DK directory. And then let's make a file called takeoffandland.py. This is where we'll be doing our typing. We'll use the VI text editor to edit this file. Then we'll hit enter, and that'll create this file. And then we'll hit the I button so that we can insert text into this file. And at the top, we are going to import some dependencies from the drone kit package that we installed in the last video. We're gonna import the connect vehicle mode and location global relative. We'll also need to import time, socket, exceptions, and argparse. So argparse is a package that will let us import information from the command line into our script. And we'll need that functionality in the function we're gonna make below. This is called connect my copter. So this function is going to connect our Python script here to our drone's firmware. So what are we gonna need as input for this? function, we're going to need the IP address of our drone. Okay, so when we type dash dash connect, the, the information after that is going to be the IP address that we are passing to the script. So we'll pass the IP address of our drone, and then our script will have access to the IP address, and it will be able to initiate a connection. And we can call that IP address by typing args.connect, and we'll save that IP address string to the variable we're naming connection string. And now we're going to use that IP address and pass it into the connect function, and it's going to return to us a vehicle object that we can use in our script to manipulate our actual drone. And then we'll just return that vehicle to whatever called it. All right, and the next function we're gonna make is called arm and takeoff. So this is simply gonna arm our drone, that is make the prop start spinning. And then it's going to take off to a target altitude. Now that altitude is going to be in meters. So you American folk, uh, a meter is about three feet or a yard. So that is some information that I forgot about when I first used this script. I'll just let it be known that the drone flew way higher than it should have. All right, now we'll start off by blocking this function from progressing until the vehicle is armable. So the script is gonna communicate with the Ardu Pilot firmware, and it's gonna, not, it's gonna loop in this while script until the vehicle is armable. And then once it's armable, it'll break out of that loop, and we'll change the vehicle to be in the guided flight mode. So we've seen in previous videos, flight modes like Stabilize, Loiter, and RTL. Well, the guided flight mode is a mode that has the drone wait for outside commands in order to know how to move. So we'll change the, the vehicle to be in guided flight mode so that our script can command the drone around. And we're gonna block the script from progressing until the firmware can confirm that the flight mode was actually changed to guided mode. So it'll loop in that while block until it can confirm that. And then once we're in guided flight mode, we're actually gonna arm the vehicle. We'll type vehicle.armed equals true and then we won't progress in the code again until our, we can confirm that the vehicle is actually armed. Now we're gonna call vehicle, that is the object that was created in the connect my copter function, and then we'll say dot simple takeoff, so that is a function that just tells the drone to fly into the air, and the input that it takes is meters of height. So the a target altitude is the variable that we fed into our arm and take off function. And then we're gonna put in a while block 
And so while the drone is flying in the air now, every every loop in this while block, we're gonna see the current altitude of the drone. So if it's flying to 10 meters, it'll be like current altitude one, current altitude two, so on and so forth. And then we're going to use an if block. And this basically says the drone can stop flying up upwards whenever it's within 95% of the target altitude. So if we fed in 10 meters to this function, if it got to 9.5 meters, we're going to tell the drone that it can stop flying upwards and then it'll just be hovering in place, waiting for the next command. And now the function is done, we'll return none, but our drone at this point would be hovering in the air. So everything above we just created are just functions. So they're not actually going to do anything until we call those functions in our mission, in the mission portion of the script. Let's go ahead and make our mission now. First, we have to connect our script to the vehicle. So, and we'll get a vehicle object returned to us by calling the connect my copter function that we developed above. And then we'll change the mode of the vehicle to be in guided flight mode. And then we'll call the arm and takeoff function and feed in two. So the drone is going to try to fly to two meters or about six feet. And then we're simply going to tell the drone to land after it's reached its target altitude. And that will be the end of the function. And this is a very simple mission. It should only take like you know, five seconds at the most, but just give you an introduction to the power of DroneKit. Let's go ahead and exit out. We'll hit the colon button and then WQ to save the text that we just typed up into this file. Okay, so we'll type LS now and you'll see that the file we just created is in normal text. Take off and land is in normal text. And we can make that an executable file by typing chmod plus x and then the name of the file. And this is just telling our system that this file is code meant to be executed by our processor. And you can see after it's made executable, now the text of the file is green. All right, now it's time to try the script out. Let's go to a wide open field that has that isn't very close to any objects at all. And we're gonna do two bits of safety precaution. The first thing we always, always, always wanna make sure that we do is leash our drone. We're gonna take a big old weight. I have like a 10 pound weight. I throw it on the ground, tie a string to it, and then tie the other end of the string to my drone. I provide maybe like, you know, 20 feet worth of string, just so if something goes wrong with the drone and the mission tells the drone to, you know, fly to space accidentally, well, the drone is only gonna fly the length of the string. This is very, very important when you're running automatic missions. Okay, and the second bit of safety precautions we're going to use is, uh, we're just gonna hold our RC controller in our hand, and if we turn on our RC controller, that is going to override the script. So if something goes wrong and the drone starts acting crazy, we can just turn on our RC controller and turn the flight mode knob all the way to the RTL flight mode. And that way the drone will just try to return back to launch and stop the script. Now we need to call the script in a very special manner. We'll say Python and then the name of our script, take off and land. And then remember the dash dash connect option that we added to our script. Well, now we're gonna feed in that IP address after that option we created. We're gonna type the local host IP address, which is 127.0.0.1. And then we'll type a colon, and then the port number that our drone is listening on. And this port number is 14550. And then when you hit enter, the script is gonna start. So be very careful about when you type this out because your drone might be trying to fly up into the air when it's sitting inside. But all right, let's go out to the field and see what happens. All right, so you can barely see it, but there's a weight, you know, top left of the drone. But we're gonna go ahead and launch this script and see what happens. A very short mission. I'll just, and you can see the current altitude on the console. It's saying we're at zero meters, we're at one meter. And it reaches its target altitude and simply lands back onto the earth. That's just showing you, you know, a very basic drone kit mission, but 
I think you can you can see how drone kit is very powerful because we we were able to command the drone to fly around with Python, and we didn't have to know anything about ArduPilot or the 700,000 lines of code that runs ArduPilot. We just were able to write a very simple drone kit script in Python, and we can control the drone. So that's a it's like a superpower 